the holding lineup. Uh, it's Pomolo Pal Pal Paladi playing catch. Tyler Croft position eight. DP Diamond. Uh, Erasmus Zender numbers number seven. Mweti Kahiso playing third base. Matazi Tepo position nine. Brendan Bullion shortstop. William Thomason first base. And Lucas Lamola pitching. There is no strong holding lineup that we can get besides this one. There is no player who has been left out. Yeah. But we can see that they they mean business. They want to defend their title. So the best of the best in Houghton are here against the best of the best in Mpoku, who are also here. Manda Matsunyani beating first, Lisiva Tomazan beating second, beating third will be Mbumo Richie Babi Mohau Chupuri Mateng, Pasha number six, Silo Molokwani DP beating for the pitchers, and Tepulim Patele beating number seven, Maredi Sylvester, the uh, beating number seven. The first ball is a home run from Mandla. Matsunyani, oh, it dropped, it dropped within, the because the boundaries remain now. Yes. <laughs> yeah, now in our eyes are still on the boundaries remain. Sylvester Maredi, number position seven, betting eight, betting nine. This young and only 16 year old, Keka Nagi, two minutes he played second base, and the experienced Kijima Kekana coming to pitch. On the bench is Kaisu Apani, Kikana Denver, Kikana Ronaldo, Shala Marema, and Mpukube, Utumele, Masingi, Poncho. Mixed with experience and young, both sides. There is experience, there is young, uh, less. The coaches, Stapelo Shoga said, Kikana, Derek Lope, Nakedi Tagi. And the manager is Kegana Itu. Now the ceiling proper have started with the lefties. Two lefties as their first bearers. The, one, the first one is safe on scoring position. And then the second one is on at bed, Lisiba Tomatana. Also played for Usa. Yeah. At the Young ages when he was still a student at TUT. Yeah. Now he graduated to the senior team in the program. Now he's even working at the development sports as a culture in one of our regions, yeah, which is good. Yes. That's a bad thing. Yes. Two strikes and the ball on him. Yes, yes, it's also said the same thing with the Usa versus Haute. In Popo versus Haute, these guys know each other uh, very well. They know each other very, very well. Because I remember some of the players who are here in the Popo team, they also played in the Hassan the Hassan. when they were students at TUT or VUT. So they played the Hassan League, play so there. they played against these guys. The majority of what is good for universities in Houten, there are strong two universities who are giving bazaries to sports bazaries. Yes. So, this, so it attracts a lot of, of young footballers, and which is good for, for, the, for the sport at that level of universities. Well, three two on the better, no outs. Runner at a scoring position. And it's a pass ball. Yep. Four balls. Pace of balls. Pace, uh, runners on the corners. And Pokemon coming to one of the head. hard hitters for Nipopo. Yeah, the top of the betting you have the leading man is it's a hard hitter. Lisiwa has got a, his discipline. And now Ngomori, Mohau, these two are national 
players, if you mess, you strikes, they'll take you out. That's it. it. It's a safe hit. Yeah. One run scored. Yeah. Rama say on two and one. Yeah. The very first pitch. The very first pitch. Now the captain for the team in purple. Then uh, the captain for team SA coming to bat. He's working up in the spot of softball. Started at the age of seven, eh? Yeah. Uh, with uh, mom peer mentoring, mentoring, coaching, mentoring, and uh, at the age of 12, the team won the schools under 30, and by that time, he was 12. That's Seth, the assistant coach, Seth Kekana. During his playing days, he was a, one of the best bunters yeah. you can ever get. Yeah. The Very quick. One of the fast fastest. runners you can ever um, get. Yeah. I never saw him bedding a ball, just bunt. <laughs> this one was good. Yeah. We played at uh, college for three years. Uh, for those three years, we lost only one game. Yeah. One. One game. In three years. Yeah. And I saw most of my colleagues our, that we on the same squad. Yeah. I can count four, five, I've seen them outside. Okay, that's good. Just to come and uh, see the, the ball game. That would be two strikes. It's a foul. On the better. They're playing too much inside for him. Yeah. Because if you go outside, the ball will then go outside. Yeah. So that's good thinking from the catcher, Pumolo. Yes. An experienced catcher like uh, Pumolo, you need him now. Yeah. Like, that's and he's got out. a strikeout. Yes. <laughs> Hard and low. And Gavin coming to to bat. One away. Should stop. Brendan Bullion on your picture. That is SA. Number one short stop. Number one short stop. Mr. Clean. If you consider the bumps that are uh, on the fields, even during the qualifiers and now, uh, he feels very well. Experienced, and uh, I saw him catching at baseball, yeah. one uh, baseball games. And after this, I'm told they will be going to PE, Kabeha. For the baseball tournament. Yeah. The pass ball pitched outside. Runner at scoring positions. With one out. And the read says two strikes. So this one strike, one more. If that was his, yes. Umpire says one one. We are going to see how they wants to defend the title and Limpopo wants to reclaim the glory because Houghton took uh, the trophy from them. From, yeah. These are the most, one of the, I mean, the toughest uh, encounter for both two teams. It's not going to be easy for Limpopo uh, to take it away from Houghton. And last year they were not in the finals, yeah. the, the Limpopo team. Yeah, they came forth. They came forth. So now they went they, out and uh, regroup, yeah. and they are here at home. Their supporters are here. They they want to impress their supporters. We also need that uh, factor on the, on the on the on the technical side that we are playing with the pride of. The of the province. And he's got a rise ball. Two, Two is out. out. Two strike out. That is his strength. Yeah. The drop ball. And now I saw him against the, in the qualifiers. There's a lot of change up. Change up, yeah. yeah. yeah he learned the change up. Eh? There's a lot of change up. That is the, what international games does to mm. Yes. Players. You go there and you learn. You learn, you, you come play, back. With the tree. Yes. 
and Does. against these top batters from Limpopo, you you need to you need have a lot of variation. Yeah. If you don't you don't have variation, then forget it. Forget. Two out, one strike. William Thomas. Concentration, concentration, concentration. Thomas. The one who brought the downfall of, of Usa, Usa in the previous game. Beautiful piece inside. Start, who started the queue for runs. Yeah. <laughs> that was the queue. As a substitute. Now he's, he's in the starting Such lineup. Starting so he raised his hand to say, Coach, let me start. I'm missing one, one, one for uh, from Houdin North. From the betting side, he used to to bet at the at the at the top. Uh, yeah, he was also part of the national setup. Let's see what. First ball, a run scored. We need fast runners, and and this is why it's fast. It's one of those uh, fast fast runners for Mazan. There's an error. In terms of the throw, it was too low. It will become difficult when there is a runner at third base. Yeah. You must make sure, uh, make sure when you throw a, 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 a ground ball. That's what ball boy is two up with two outs. Two Hoping outs. to get this one out to shortstop, first base, so, and is yeah, out. Yeah. Two out, three out. Sazawe. Then they must go and defend the two, the two runs they have uh, sc uh, scored against a bit good bit inside. Yeah. Against a good good bit inside, like Team Howdy, top of the betting. Christopher Bang, Pilad, uh, Pilad, Pomolo, Tyler Croft, King Demon. Erasmus, Zemba, Mweti, Kariso, Matlat, Tepo, Brendan, Bullion, William, Thomas. This is a very strong betting side. It's a very strong betting lineup. Very, very strong. I can tell you. Very, very uh, strong uh, lineup from Team Houting. No chances. No but everybody is here to make the softball uh, championship a memorable one for both for both sides and the spectators. There's a lot and lots of how we so wish we could be playing in the new international stadium just a kilometer from where we are. Yeah. And we're just hopeful that come the financial year 2024, and then by 2025 it will be done and uh, we play in call i mean internationally we'll have games around here it's closer to zimbabwe yes uh, it's closer to just uh Houghton. they will frequent here uh, free state and that also team. some parts of botswana francis town yes and whatever. And there are teams there yes just, mm. yes yeah, we just hope the, the, the government Powers make that sure, be, yes, in terms the, of that, yeah. they will play their part. Yeah. It's very important for Chris us Bach, to have that. A leading bet for Tim Houdi. I'm sure this is the fifth, sixth year that he started as the leading bet or second. Yeah. Very selective on yeah, plate. Yeah. Doesn't go for anything. No, no, no. It's easy for him to get a base. Also, one of the product of the school's uh, uh, championships. Championships, yes, yeah. yes. Then he, I remember he went to the junior championship with Mampir. And now he's using that experience. This is Limpopo against GP. The defending champion against the uh, Limpopo team, Didima. At his best, 
is some years back. At his peak, he was one of South Africa's best ever produced. Yeah. He's still one of the best mm. ever produced pitcher. Mm. I will then leave uh, just for a moment, and then I will come back. I will leave the coach. I want to get somebody. Two on two on the better. No outs, Chris Barn first better. As Team Limpopo, you want to see yourself getting the first better out. Then it's a way to start protecting your runs. And I see Limpopo team brought their experienced, experienced pitcher, experienced catcher. It's a foul. Pitcher fighting, catcher a uh, better fighting. They also played in the national team together. They know each other. Two balls, two strikes, and it's a foul. What we when we talk about protecting your plate as a better, if you've got two strikes, this is what Chris Christopher Ban is doing. And also with Didima, he's not always playing right on the plate. Goes around and it's a strike out on him. It was an inside pitch. He didn't like it, but with the Empire. If the Empire calls it, unfortunately. Pumolo Paladi now coming on bed, played with Tidima for many years. They know each other very well. It's a foul ball. Beautiful pitch, beautiful swing from a good better. Pumolo Paladi also played for Limpopo for some years. Now relocated to Gauteng, playing for Gauteng. That's the experience of the catcher. Not always playing around the plate, but moving away from, from the plate. But with Pumola, because he's a player better, who who's a good selector of balls, it's not easy. Caught by shortstop. It's two out. No runners on base for Houting so far. Things are looking good for Limpopo at the moment. But this is a, a, a final between the two bulls. It might go anywhere. So we are sure to see many more runs coming. And it's a ball on Tyler Croft. First pitch. This is the trend from William Patel and Didi Makekana that we're not playing on the plate, we just play around the plate. Go out, inside, out, inside. Let's force these guys to, to swing. And if you swing for this, this type of pitches, your balls will only end up in the ground. They don't go outside. So that is the strategy that I've got. Three balls on the better. No pressure on the better. The pressure is on the pitcher and the catcher. Let's see what they play now. And usually the betters will just leave that ball if it comes because you are three up. Just what I said. It's three one. Just left that strike, give it to the pitcher because you still have two strikes to go with. It's a beautiful drop ball. 3 2. Let's see if the pitcher will come back from three balls to three strikes. And he got it. 
from three balls to three strikes out. What an inning for Limpopo. Now we're going for the second frame. Let's see what Limpopo has in their back. Will they score more runs this frame? Or Gauteng will protect and hope that they will come and balance the inning and score their runs. Top two, score 2-0 two to Limpopo. Houting under pressure to score runs, under pressure to protect and not concede more runs. And for Limpopo at bat is Pulem Pasele, an experienced player catcher. Also comes from the ranks of USA, played for USA during his student days when he was studying at VUT. And here comes the first pitch, and it's a strike on the batter. Pumulo Paladi changing his glove. Let's welcome Tobohoma Peto, the USA chairperson. Uh, good afternoon, viewers at home. Uh, we are about to see uh, the final. We are just anticipating to see a very, very good game. As we started at the top two, score is 2 0. I was watching from the outside, so there's a lot of wind that is uh, blowing here. Mr. Dow. So we just uh, wishing that uh, maybe more, more pitchers they'll be throwing down more than going up. Yeah. Yes. Uh, two strikes on a better and uh, one ball. William Patel at bed got a strike out. This is what Houting uh, uh, coaches wants to see yeah get their outs get, get your outs yeah because you know it's difficult always to to come back from a lead especially when did my pitching because he's an experienced pitcher yes so if you relax and limpopo scores more runs things will be difficult for you, you because be they've got a, hard for you to score they've got a solid field a, a team to field yeah and yeah so with, a, with the experience of a pigeon experience of a catcher yes. i think yes uh, it's going to be a difficult one to score so any chance that you get to score a run you must be able to to capitalize on it yeah it's on bad is uh, sylvester maridi in one in one of the during the round robin games i think he went out of the park twice twice against, yes against the same the same pigeon. yes and there is one of the photos on facebook yeah a beautiful photo when he scored a run the, cele the celebration, celebration yes I saw it. <laughs> <laughs> he plays baseball five yeah and he does that celebration at baseball five that's what he does <laughs> i think it's his, his trademark yeah yes <laughs> looks and good coming to think of it this guy is not in softball more than five years no yeah it should be maybe yeah five years if he if... did play at the young age mm. where me and you we, yeah. we didn't recognize yeah. him yeah. yes but at least he did manage because he was in one of the teams i think the 2021 20, that went to new zealand to new zealand yes yeah. he was he was part of that team yeah yes uh two strikes two balls on investor maridi top of the second frame one out two strikes on the better two balls and ah, a and it's a one 
Watching a third strike. It's the second better that is watching the third strike. Yeah. Yes. So it's two out for Gauteng. I'm sure the coaches are happy to see this. Yeah, happy if, if you don't allow the bottom uh, frame, bottom bit not to be on basis. But this one is a, a youngster, youngster who had a great tournament, betting wise, betting wise and f and fielding wise. Yeah. So me and you we know uh, for you to make a 17 into the Mbopo team. Yes. He must be a special player. At his age. At seven, At 17, 17. Yeah. Yes. So it must be a special. Player. Yes. So let's see what he can do, and it's a fly ball. Caught and out. Three out. Side change. We are going to the bottom two. There is the out. He got it. Christopher Ban. Now Limbobo on field. Bottom two. This is going to be a, a, a longest game for. For pitchers, yeah, because both sides are having great, great batters to face. And for Houting, is the DP coming to bed? King Demon, followed by Erasmus Zander and Moeti Gahiso. Yes, I think they, they, they didn't change their. Oh, they did change their betting order. As you can see, Ricardo has moved from betting nine yeah. to the sixth spot. Even Brendan Bullion moved, mm -hmm. I think, two notches down because it was better number six. six. Yes. I think maybe it's a matter of his uh, struggling against the, the movement of the pitches. Yeah. Yes. Right, let's see King Damon. He got a home run when they played USA. Yes. To score those runs where he was given a free base uh, the, the tyler croft was given a intentional, intentional walk, walk yeah. and he came in and punished them those are the risks you take yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes because if if you manage to take them out you will say it was a very calculated yes uh, move from the coaches there is it shows you how the wind how is like it's you, now you yes, said the yeah. over or no upside there or if you can just have a pop that is going out yeah. it's going to be out of boundary two strikes on a better i think they're struggling to to swing that uh, that drop pitch of, of yeah. Didima. yes and me and you know him it's not yet in, at at his peak it's not at his peak yes yeah. at this stage it's not at his peak he's just coming back now yeah uh, he's starting and i remember i was watching their game when he was pitching on the other, I think they were playing Western Cape. Uh, yes. And I was sitting with someone, he said, hey, did he must drop? I said, you've never seen something, <laughs> anything. It's nothing, those ones. Compared to the way you the know him? The way I know him, okay. that is nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and we, 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 he really needs to, to get to his peak uh, because we, we go into the qualifiers in the US around oh, September. September but surely he will be ready by then I can't say he must get he's, he's getting old <laughs> yeah. oh, he's getting old the, the young boys are coming up yeah just to motivate yeah. them you <laughs> yes. know when you've got a, a, a backup pitcher even if we know at this stage you we need a senior, the experience, senior pitcher yes. for these young yeah. boys they will be able yes. to show them how to do things and whenever we're struggling with the young ones he can come in and assist them assist and them. carry the team yeah yes. At bat, uh, Erasmus Zander. It's one out. One ball on the better. And it's a strike for him. I don't understand these players when they leave, you know, these obvious strikes. And they want to look at the empire as if he called the wrong one. It's a swing and a foul. It's one ball, two strikes on the better. Yes. <laughs> it 
strikes, one ball, two strikes on the better, one out. Out thing, no player is saved on base. Did a few changes in their player the, in the playing staff when uh, from the game they won against USA based on their betting abilities because this is again it's a strikeout drop outside then there comes Kahiso Mueti a young man with a big heart played a few times against Tidima he also knows him very well and it's a strike one strike on the better it's two out bottom two score it's two zero to Limpopo and there comes Kahiso to the left outfield easily caught by the left outfield sides change three outs and it's top three Limpopo still leading 2-0 there is the catch from the left outfield for the third out The game is not yet hot. You can see even supporters are just relaxed, just watching the game. People are not sitting on the edge of their seats because there is no action here. It's a game of pitchers. So we just hope soon we will see a different ball game. We will start seeing runners on bases those slides that we miss those slides we miss those close plays the pants no one has ever put a a a a, a great band yeah we haven't we haven't we haven't seen a pants those track pants those crash pants yes so it's uh the first person to score a run in this game, Manda Matsunyane. The first 10, he got a hit between right outfield and center outfield. Yes. Now he's coming back on bed, and it's top three. Top three. Limpopo is their top bedding. Houting, they still on better number six so that when they come back is better than number seven which shows we never had any runners on base yes. all the betters were dealt with on the plate two balls on manda mazunyane i must say he's on form betting wise this tournament yes i think with with the age wise uh, if you can check i think manda is one of the players that he did play the N, uh, the, the npc at a younger age yeah. also yes and it's four balls on him another runner on base you see but from it's an another left hand better and he was he was walked also um, worked the yeah. previous inning yeah. so let's see what is offering I'm the coach yeah then it's a foul ball and i don't know uh, why the left hand is rushing to lay a band because already you had the advantage of go you had the going advantage going to the first base wait for the ball put it down put it and down. then run you sacrifice yourself mm. And like we were saying, we haven't seen a lot of punts in, in these games. You know, the, these players forget that when a coach gives you a bunt, yes, we call it a sacrifice bunt. It's a sacrifice We've bunt. got a runner on base, we need that runner to advance. 
is to be at a scoring position. At the scoring position. Yes. So the, your role is to make sure that guy goes to a scoring position. Whether they take you out or whatever, that's something else. Because now you don't know what is going to hit and make it double, double play. play. Yes. Right. You, make, you make it easy for the fielders. Yes. Then he gets a strike he out. Got a strike out without swinging. And the runner is still on one. Yes. So, so we are forced to push that guy. Anything can happen. People can play can a double happen. play. Yes. And Chipapen Gomori, <coughs> during the first turn, I think he went to what for the first first pitch. Yeah, for the yeah. first pitch and he got a safe hit to score Mandra. Mandra's run. He is also on fire this tournament. Then. A lethal better that you cannot uh, <laughs> take your, your, your eyes from On him fire, fact. he's on song. You know, when he gets on bed and he just hits the ball. He just hit the ball. He, during this tournament, when they played Western Cape, Cape yeah. he hit the shot to third base and you know I nearly thought I thought that guy that ball hit him on the face but fortunately he was quick with his hands yeah it hit the glove and hit his chest okay but he was able to pick it up because there were runners on two and one okay he was able to pick it up and play. take third base and play to first base yeah, yeah. and let's welcome Brabeni Boshomani Back. First strike to Ngomori. Three balls, one strike. Oh, Rana at first. Thank you very much uh, for keeping the forward and protecting your uh, space. I went out to check who is around yes. and try to line up and I'm waiting for the former head coach to come here. It's Flap all, I think is a two base. Let's see what uh, Kraft is saying. Is a two base. It's a two base. It's a two base yes. with one out. Let's, uh, Ngomori, uh, Chupapi, then Mao comes to bat. From he was given a strike out. Yes. And uh, his first the two batters that are coming in got strike outs. Now they have runners on scoring positions. Yes. And something needs to give way. The captain of the ship. Is betting uh, from from the midst of our viewers. We are having a viewer from Saudi Arabia, which is so that that they are watching our game by the name of Tuto Makulumakwe. Look, is one of our softball players that was playing for a uh, Flames Masters team, which is a, which is a plus for us. And it's thank a plus you for us very much. I also received message from down in Bumalanga. Yeah. Pule uh, Kwambe, who used to play for ladies team Limpopo. Yeah. Uh, she is now looking at the game and enjoying the the tournament. That's a good thing because yeah, I think uh, our games can reach you wherever you, you are, are in the world. Yeah. Yes. You do your own things, just open it. And then you watch the full, the full game. The full game. It is still very tight at this time because we saw what happened in the USA uh, games. Yes. It was also tight up to the inning, the last, the last, inning. the last inning of the game. Even now, we anticipated this thing, and it is happening. The Empire says no. It didn't like that pitch. That pitch. Yes. Was from, too low. From, low. From, from where I'm standing, you see a strike. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. From, from, from the viewer's point up there, and then who is closer to it becomes the blue. Then it's four balls on the better. Yeah. 
pace on balls. That is Mr. Harry. Harry is yeah. He's ever there. He's forever. I can in tell you, he's, he's forever. Whether it's masters, <laughs> whether it's schools, tournament. He's forever there. Yeah, he's forever there. He's forever. There is part of us. He is us, in fact. Harry is a. Uh, that's a nice on the plate with one out Gavin coming to bat and Limpopo needs to score in this you can't all bases loaded with one out something need to give way something need to give way strike coach one ball one strike on him And is also one of the tried and tested SA shortstop. And Limpopo's uh, finest. One of those who, at his best peak of his career, he was the, one of the cleanest shortstop you can ever think of and produced by Silitin Giant Killers. It is now a football a team called Baroga. They started there playing softball. Strike out again. Strike out number two for Madling Pasha. Silo coming to bed. They've been they've been teammates for Team Limbobo and for Team SA. And now it is a call for Coach Taps and Koloid because these are senior players. When the bases are loaded, what do we do? It's a swing and a miss. It's a swing and a and a miss. And if they don't score now. It is going to be tough because it was one one down and bases loaded. So when you put a pressure on, on your opponents, make sure that you use that space. Otherwise, when they come, it's going to be very difficult for you to come out. And you can see you smell a strike out. <coughs> Two strikes on... Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Well, unless you think otherwise, you are smelling a strike out. Remember, at some stage, as a better, you need to be getting contacts. Whether it's a foul, it's a tip. Yes. It then, it then means you are right on track. You just need to get the timing right. True. But if it's a, just it's a, a miss and a miss and a miss noted, the likelihood is going to be difficult for you to get the, the pitcher. And he's got a strikeout. Yeah. Well pitched from the young man. Yes, with bases loaded. Bases loaded from zero, no, no out yeah. to three out. Yeah. Good pitching from the Good young man. Good pitching from the young man. And this is top of the betting for team Limpopo. Three runners left on base. It's a waste in Sobo language. Yeah, it's a waste. It's a waste. Does Debo Ramuari, the head coach number 78 for team Howde? And spreading the message, putting more effort in what needs to be done by, uh, by his team in terms of the betting. And I see Limpopo has thrown in the veteran Didima to, to throw. It is going to be a very tough. I am waiting for the former, another former head coach for males. And uh, he should be here by now. So that we share one, two, three things. Experience since he has been here. 
what he saw and from his uh, experience. Um, uh, Matlans, it's a ball on bed for, Lim for Team Gauteng. Marshall, come to bed. That is his, uh, his nickname because sometimes he used to play football <laughs> at the dusty street yeah. of Silly Trick. Yeah. yeah. Where Baroga uh, team comes, hails from. One ball on the bed. And you don't need to give. And we don't need to, uh, to keep uh, one ball, one strike on the better. Which was a low ball. This this uh, drop ball, it's no. It's one of those. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it's not easy not to go for it. Yeah. yeah. It's not easy not to go for it. It, it tells you, go for me, go yeah. for me. And when we throw a bat, already it's down. Yeah. That, that is his strong side. As I said, Limpopo is uh, brought in experience uh, two balls two strikes Bashin Matazi on bet his former players are in the opposite side and it's a hit it's a hit back to the pitch up. yeah it's a return hit just 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 a short bet because when you try to go hard it's quicker than you you just look at it, plug it. When I was uh, when I was growing young, the coaches that used to coach us, they would tell you uh, this: the ball that you hit back to the pitcher, yeah. that means the timing was correct. Was correct. This is the best hit that you can yeah. talk about in softball. Yeah, it must go back direct to the pitcher means you are you, you saw it we are ready yes your timing was your timing was correct. what we want yeah brendan bullion the past it's two games he was struggling that is why he's even betting lower yeah. lower at lower end he used to be the top three yes top four top three and but you cannot write him off no 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 no, no, no you one can't of the best betters we have you can't it's just you know when it's not your day it's not it's, it's not and when it matters most that's when these type of betters they come yeah i saw the gentleman that i i said he will be he will be joining me in no time he has just uh, arrived and currently Thank you and welcome. Uh, as I said, I'm waiting for the director in the Department of Sports here. They are here with us and uh, the MEC is also here. And uh, he is also a former coach. And then about your impression about the tournament itself uh, as government, how uh, do you view it? And and then what is your impression in terms of the tournament itself uh, welcome mr pastor tk homo yeah the deputy, the deputy chair of Limpopo softball association want to appreciate the fact that uh, uh, softball south africa is, has decided to take the national championship to to be played in Limpopo. yeah what a wonderful way to celebrate 30 years uh, of um, democracy and the unification of softball from 1994 until today we want to appreciate that yeah that's a step towards what the country wants and needs a unified state 
and the resources are channeled towards a specific goal of government. On, Not, on yeah. top of that, uh, uh, that uh, Ushoman, the, as part and parcel of our contribution to social and economical uh, issues to raise the GDP yeah. of the province, the province. We, 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 we are pushing for sports tourism. Okay. The, I could tell you that uh, the number of people who are selling around, uh, selling food, yeah. uh, drinks and all that, um, it, it, it augurs well. Yeah. But over and above, the big issue is the baits. Yeah, the there are about seven, seven, seven provinces that are here. Yeah, yes. Uh, about uh, two teams per province. And each team has about 24 members. Mm -hmm. Two of the team are low. Minimum. Minimum. So imagine if you times that 25 by, by six, seven. seven. You will see and, and yes. you will see the, how the, the base that are occupied yeah. from Wednesday. Some is from Sunday because I they see came here. Sasu came here. On, uh, on, on Saturday. Yeah, I'm speaking about players and all, yeah. and management. Imagine about the supporters who are here. Right, yeah. yeah. We have Mike Motlongo who came here from Soweto. Very early. Very early. Very early. Very early. We have a number of legends. Boma Vichela that are here, but Okobamu. Yeah. So the inter-district uh, 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 tourism. Tourism. Also more, yes. To, so so we, 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 for us it augurs well. That's why we want to appreciate you. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, but in, yeah, let's now go to the, the game that I know you love most <laughs> of, of, of all your years when you grow up yeah. uh, from teenage level, what, uh, whatever level. You went as far as being the head coach of the national side. You went to a tournament somewhere in Argentina and it was a, a, a tournament on tour to the World Series, yeah. and that trophy is still here. It's still here. Yes. No, no, not, no. not to be biased in terms <laughs> of, because as government officials, yeah. they will say they are, they are talking, they are taking him from us to <laughs> them. <laughs> then what is your impression in terms of the standard uh, no, no. of the yeah. games? I think That's what. Uh, the, 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 the important thing is that we are happy that uh, the game is still playing. Yeah. And the age of the people who are playing there, uh, we. We, we, we think the standard could be better. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Um, I'll tell you why. The, the, the pitching, yeah. the level of pitching here, it's, it's a bit deteriorated because you can single out um, Tidima. Yeah. Yeah, you can single out Tidima and you know yeah. um, people will have difficulties to play. The biggest challenge that I think we are having as a country is to prepare for the qualifiers in in, in, in US. In the in Oklahoma in, because that is where I yeah. think South Africa is going. So why I'm saying if we can't get competitive games at the level of the World Cup, we'll we'll always come second yeah. to, to the European teams. But what I love most is that uh, the since 1994, Sasu been party or Usa been Usa. party, been party to the national yeah. championship. I realized that they are managed to be in the medal group. Now they will be um, third, third in, in the world. Yes, male and uh, female. Yes. So this is the issue. We wanted softballers to to be to go to school. That's why you, Brabeni, when you had, you let the 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 the, 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 the students, the learners, yeah. the, the under seventeen, yes, under eighteen. That's where we yeah we we nurture and groom these kids. So that's where we must focus. Now we need to identify what True. is it that South, South Africa we need to focus on. Yeah, because we've been going to international. Yeah. coming third best yeah and uh, at some stage we have very strong um under 19 sides yes because uh, at some stage yes Richard that Klasen, seniors. yeah when they were 19, Lama, when yeah. that side so we used to have then, that yeah that yeah uh, that the then, side. then we need to get something right yeah at that uh, space so that we don't worry when we go outside and play international we know we'll, we'll go to the championship side nevertheless not winning but to go to the second phase 
it means the, we have grown. The other part is that the 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 the, the, the softball field. Yeah. From government side, we are, we know we are behind, but it will be finished. Okay. Because the skin diamond is yeah. something that we need yes. in Limpopo so that we compete. When we go internationally, we have day, a skin diamond. We have yes. a skin diamond. Yeah. So it's a hard surface that we require, and we, we know that by March next year, uh, we might be talking something. Yeah. But going to the game, per se, I, 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 I'm looking at the, the picture. Lucas. Uh, Lucas from um, La Mola, no. from, from Mohamed Shashane there. Yes, the coach uh, is here. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh no, the, the, the that coach Scowler is here. It's here. Yeah. But I also appreciate that even uh, Le Mora Pasha, the national is coach, is here. Yeah. Nagedi Rapalo is, is here. Is here. Yeah. Is here. So I see Le Mamaloko, uh, Manamela, yeah. there for the ladies that are here. This, uh, they are encouraging, mm. but I'm hope, I'm happy that this will prophesy this one yeah. to see many provinces using players coming from Limpopo yeah. because we are, we are too many within Limpopo and some of them are unable to play, so they will have to go to other provinces and play there. Yeah, we are leasing them. We are leasing them. So it's a contract. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's the the director of the Department of Sport here in the province. Yeah. For, for Mali, from the softball uh, part, sport in, in general, not necessarily softball alone, because yeah. you will have when you grow up, you will play athletics, you will do what, but Football and the, all yes, what, but the what, history is decorated. What I also have to mention is that this Limpopo has a chance to retain this uh, um, title to, to take back the title for the ninth time. For the ninth time, yeah, and which is which is which is uh, it's a groundbreaking it's a record. Groundbreaking record yeah. If they if they win this one, yeah. And what I'm happy about, you know, from the personal point of view, I've coached the national coach, the team national coach. He yes. was top pitcher. When I'm maybe top 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 top. top, 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 top but it was that time. He was top top top. Yeah. And uh, even his assistant who was his catcher. Yeah, was his catcher. Yeah, yeah. at the national level. Now that's Marie the, Di Silvestre hitting the, the, the two, two bases. Base hit. Yes, and that one from the from the from the Limpopo team is the quickest. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because you need to be quick, minus slow, which is equal to now. They know yeah. it. These coaches. Yeah. Tapela Sushoka here. Yeah. yeah, I'm also able to see the legendary Koloi. Is yes, is is yes. Also <laughs> part of the assistant. Yeah. Coach. So. Your, your, your provincial team has got the ingredients yeah. that one would need. No, 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 no. They, 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 you see the Mpopo, they have the ingredients, they have the, the pattern. Any coach who comes in and loses, he will have a problem because he's not inventing anything new. We, you know, Brabant, when, when we went to Bluefield, the we systems are there. The systems are already yeah. there. So we want to, see, but we love the improvement and that that kind of a place escalating and going to other the provinces, provinces so that we are competitive but you can tell me all these other other provinces are have got one of your players yeah as you are saying uh, no, no, as no. i said that boy is one of the quickest he has what this the, is 16 year old kitume sikekana from from Leland, texas he is 16 now oh powerful you know yeah. he's know. on the top 20 oh. of the sa during after the national championships for under 17 schools last year, yeah, we have two top 20 best players that performed very well. Oh, which we, we, we call it a performance side or team. He is in the same team, you know. That is what we need to do. A man that he has been playing and consistently, yes, that young boy at the age of 16, we need to introduce him to the national setup because yeah. at this level, at the top level, he's performing. Yeah, the fact that now, yeah, against Gauteng, yes, they have put him in, not to say because he's young, no, 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 he is now on merit. On, he's there on merit. You see, this is man that was betting. Yeah, they at forty-five. Yes, when we were transforming, um, uh, the, the, then then the team, the old team, and yeah. the group, we took that boy and from the tree, just sitting, just sitting, at that age. Yeah, so he's now at the national setup. 
And the it's, one, it's one of those. Uh, you know. You know you that's Mindos. Yeah, you know. That's Mindos. You'll be a two base uh, That's him. That, that's that's that, how he plays. That's him. So that under 16 that you talked about must be in the national team. Are, that is investment yes. to the future. So that there's continuity as what did you they roll in, right. roll out. I, I, of course, did you said, no, I want to retire. You only retire when you have produced somebody. Somebody. And I'm telling you, yeah. he's got two of the toughest. If you look at the Sasu game, the yeah. USA games against Hauteng. Yes. Until the seventh frame, there were only two errors that we made in the last inning with two out score at 5-2. I, I was watching that game. And the picture game. is from oh, is a, is from Moletlani, the South, the USA team. Yeah, picture. Yes, it's the yeah. understudy to this one. They are also celebrating 30 years. We yes. are the founding members of, of Sasu Softball. Yeah. But that boy you are talking about, yeah. I watched that game. That boy uh, is, through is social Lucas, media. Uh, but Dwa is also from Moletlani. Poncho Masingi coming oh, from to, to bed, oh, coming right. from Makuleri Spikes, one of the renowned uh, teams around here yeah, that no. feeds the provincial setup. I this remember, one is a multifaceted I remember type of he, he used to be at the national team. He does yeah. netball also. A lot of, yeah. lot of things. Yeah. But I, I just wanted to also appreciate you, uh, Mr. Vishomane. And also the administration of softball South Africa for the years, you know, one of the biggest challenges of softball South Africa was compliance by 1994 yeah. until since 2015 when the new um, um, administration it's came in, we were able to comply, yes. supported yeah. by government, and, national, and, and do that. So. I, the fact that we are seeing continuous national championship it every year is because of administration. We, yes. Yeah, and most of the pro the, almost the problems that are here have been assisted by government to mm. come to come over. So it means there's something good the Southern South Africa administration is doing mm. and the provincial federations. We have got the the director with one out and the score now has increased to four runs for Limpopo. And remember we are being hosted by Limpopo and they want to see themselves lifting the 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 trophy. That's bone to that's discipline. Yeah. That's the, that's that's discipline because a tall guy like him most of the time would like to hit boys that are too high. Oh I see. Because I of see. his height. No, you see one but of the secrets discipline. of pitchers, they like to use rice pitchers as a concluding especially when they have the the, the 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 three the two strikes there you saw yeah. they throw an insider because he was kneeling down so they threw it onto him just touch the plate so that's how the pitcher and the catcher were intelligent yeah. to make sure now is, this okay. is Gomori this is Gomori this is the one group. of the group that yeah. I coach at under 13 oh yeah with the Mohaus and the teams they are still they are still doing here. it even so. at national Inter yeah, yeah. They are that still is why I'm talking about that under 16. That was one of the strongest side investment. Yes, that we did because all of these players comes from these are bigger ones. Comes from the same program. Uh, so I saw Manza and Gomri coming from uh, Wild Beast. Yeah, uh, which is good. which is which is good. Which is, which I, I is think good. now the the pitcher is trying to be clever. They're throwing a lot of inside pitch coming into the body. Mm -hmm. So that the ball could just drop into drop in. five, yeah. That was your, your strategy yeah. and tactics. <laughs> that uh, Lemo, the coach, will throw that yeah. uh, type yeah, of no, ball. Yeah. No, you know, we, Lemo, Lemo, no, it's hard yeah, and it's low. Hard and low, but also it's a long serving uh, member of, of the game. I yeah. think now at the national level, I think they've started softball at around 89, 90. Long time, long, long time, time, time ago from high school. From high school, so we, we appreciate that. Around 85 and other areas. So let's see what the pitcher will throw when he has one strike. Yeah. But the very same inside, it's in the field. Now in a minute, 
I will be releasing the deputy director. Yeah. And then. The di yeah. Uh, the, I mean, I will be releasing the director and uh, calling in another stalwart of the ball game. Because we are here, as we said, we are in the home of softball. So, so let me ask you, when you call this young man who. who, who Stalwarts. So, uh, what do you call me? A legend. Uh, thank you very much. Legend, <laughs> TK Home, you are released. Thank you very much. We have shared and uh, we are part of the growing family of sport. And in no time, I will then reserve these five minutes and get another former player who is a former national player of the same team Simunye. Now it's five for Team Limpopo and nothing for Team Houteng, top of the fourth for the fourth inning. And uh, one a former player who can hit the ball very hard. And I could see something has just happened. Mohau Tupuri has been given it is, yes. And Kevin has two strikeouts. Welcome uh, into the, in the studio, Mr. Derek Mahaba, the gentleman in charge of Masters, but a former national player in 2000 when South Africa host, hosted the, the World uh, Championship. He was party to, to the very same uh, 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 Simone side. He has Springbok in South Africa. We call them Springbok colors. Welcome. And thanks, uh, thanks, Dr. Bishomani. Uh, it's been a pleasure being here at the NPC 2024 and experiencing this beautiful game. Uh, the game that Limpopo loves so much, the home of softball, the province that prides itself uh, in producing the best. And we have an excellent game going on here. Yeah. Uh, the men's final and, and hope that we can see a lot of action happening. Yeah. This is a tight game, even though the score says 5 0, but it's but a it's very, very tight, tight game. I can tell you uh, it's very these tight. are very good uh, teams uh, Limpopo and Gauteng, uh, Gauteng being the defending champs. And, and we hope that Gauteng would not disappoint and, and, and showcase what, uh, how did they get to the final yeah. and showcase and because the softball loving people uh, present here at the fields would want to see some action happen. From your, from you, exp from you, stay here since the tournament started. Just share with us your impression in terms of the standard of the play. The impression, overall impression about what you have seen thus far. The two bulls are fighting it out now, but in terms of overall, the play, the spectators. Supporters, what's your impression? As because your masters have saw them, everybody's here from your same crawl of masters. Yes, um, I've been just chatting to some of the legends, the players of yesterday and administrations, and they are so impressed about the level and quality of softball uh, being displayed here by the athletes, the players themselves and the, the, they would have wished they are uh, 20, yeah. 30 years younger uh, <laughs> to, to partake. Unfortunately, they could not. Uh, but also looking at the, the youngsters, actually, who make it uh, to the NPC, yeah. whether it be for Limpopo, Gauteng, and other provinces. Uh, there are some youngsters which are coming through, and they, they, they've gained some colors uh, uh, with due respect that they, they, they've well a well-deserved um, colors for their provinces, and they have represented their provinces very well. That's the third um, strike out yes, for Team Gauteng, which then says to a coach, this player cannot bet again. In terms of how you analyze it, because the statistician is here to tell you, and remember the opposition also has a statistician. If you get the three strike outs and we have a bench, now it talks to just try something, because they gave somebody a walk, intentional walk, and they went straight to the same person who got through out, and now they got the third strike out. Yes, looking at the innings, we are now at the middle of the game. 
and it's yeah. time that the coaches need to actually apply their mind, uh, come up with tactics yeah. to make sure if you are Limpopo, you would want to close uh, the you game by adding a few uh, runs. If you are Gauteng, you would want to catch up yeah. and ensure that uh, you now rely on the stats yeah. that we have had for, for, for the previous innings. And they need to be able to guide you. And then you need to talk to your bench and, and see what is it that you can pull from the bench that would actually um, uh, assist Gauteng. Yeah. And this is what the coaches must look at. And, and again, they must look at their pitching department because as the game goes to a close, uh, we know, we have seen Gauteng coming back against, against uh, Usa, Usa um, w which was a beautiful game. That was uh, a just on the, uh, the, uh, on the eve of closing the game yeah. and everything changed. So, so tactics that must be applied here is both offensive and uh, defensive. So, so the coaches must really uh, work hard. Uh, we see yeah. Pumulon bad now. Uh, let's see how he would lead against a player that he has played with uh, for so many for years. For so many, so many, so many years. Because he's now based in Gauteng and uh, he's still part of the sport that he grew up loving. Besides uh, others that he might have, but he grew up loving this, this sport. I remember some stage at an under 17, he played, uh, he was injured, but he was dictating to the coach, I mean to the to the then under study, which balls to call most of the time. Yes. Um, Sitting with the bench, they were able to allow him to sit on the bench. That's yes. where we saw this boy who grow go places as a as a pitcher. Yeah, there is yeah made it to first base, an error by second baseman, a uh, fielding error there. That's um, the young Gitu Messi. Yes. Uh, now, I think in this in these uh, two teams, he is the youngest. Beautiful <coughs> game of softball. Uh, we've seen some beautiful throws by Tidima uh, from Limpopo. Yes, he's, he's a pitcher that you know, they all respect him, but once he's your opponent, you need to pull your socks up and you know work hard for your team. Yeah. And uh, we see how they are using that tactics, uh, Those are to, tactics to come back to the game. They yeah. now have a man in third base. That means scoring position. That is scoring that position. They, they've put him on a scoring position. Yeah. Now they just have to get him, uh, push him through to to, to, to home plate. Oh, what a beautiful yeah. part. Yeah, this, that is what we call a sacrifice part. Yeah. Because the man has to go to. Uh, a scoring position, which is uh, that a was base. Tyler Croft, one of the hard hitters of the the ball that you can think about. Let's now see um, what will Houghton now pull. Yeah, they need to the score hands. now. They they need to come Just back to the game. To back we are to in the, the middle of the game, yeah. and they need to, at least to pull one to motivate one another that it's, it's doable against our yeah. number one pitcher in Africa. You can go beyond this and five and expect uh, miracles to happen like it is. That one is a miracle, I can tell you. The Usa versus Haute, it's it falls within the miracles. There were two critical errors. If an experience came in, it would have been 5-2 yeah. at that time. Yeah. But they, they worked for it, Haute. Coaches can't. They want to defend. Can't they need to. Yeah, tight. Um, they need. They need to come on board now. Motivate the athletes. Yeah. And they, they, they need to get some points in there. This is our DP on bat uh, for how they. Just take it out, and let the runner at, first, at third come home and score a run. That's what you should be doing. Getting the ball on the field. Yeah. That will be sufficient uh, to get the, the run home. Remember, you also expect uh, some comical errors because of the, 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 the pitch itself allows, allows that. Hit it on the ground, not go up, up is suicidal. Since for the, these two teams, you go down the ground and expect uh, that could happen is a strike out. Oh, that's unfortunate for how they two out especially now so said the umpire Sipo Trobuga. it's just unfortunate they have a runner at the scoring, at the position. scoring position 
they, they need to push him through. You played, you coached, now you manage, that is out. At this time, as of those two, player and a coach who are at third base, the score is 5 0. The late Tawata Wana will tell you something. One would have forced that run in. Yes. It make contact with the ball, be the slab, be the band, get the ball in the field. You and know, let the runner run to the next place. Let's have a fielder's up. choice yes. in terms of uh, what should happen. But getting strike out is actually not you know, working well for the team. Uh, they need to work as a team. You can't win. Um, as an individual, yeah. this is a team sport. Yeah. Team effort is needed, and counting uh, needs I that now. They need that now. Yeah. The late Tawo will tell me, Coach, there are three things that you need to do. As long as when we are safe at first base and we know our strength, a player like myself who is quick, I look at the movement of the pitcher when he receives the ball from the catcher. If most of the time he turns to his left, the minute there is a runner on base or betting and there is a, a ball thrown down, for me, they rather take me yes. because there's already you are trailing by a big margin. Yes. And he did that during the seven series, that six series that we did and scored the only yeah. run of the game. That's the quickness. Mm. Now we will tell the better that the only place that you need to play is to save me and you will save at first base, I'll go home. That's a foul ball. And this is where players now at this level, you need to be able to read the game. Yeah. It's exactly what you are saying, right, Benny. I, I agree with you. You need to read the game, study the patterns, how the catchers bring back uh, bog, uh, uh, the ball back to the pitcher. Yeah. And how, what is the behavior of the pitcher? Pitcher. Is he aware that you are at third base? Yes. Are they yeah. cautious in terms of what they do? And, and to that awareness, it's important. It's very important. Oh, the same yes. ball. And, and the same block. This is what um, should yes. have happened to the previous better. Yes. Just push it through. And this is what... Uh, the run has been scored. And, and the run was safe at uh, first base. He, he Rasmus just did that. Yeah. Uh, our number 65 for how they hey. just push it through. One, the one, one, one run, yes. one run there, one run there. Then we'll see the score. We'll then say to you, now you need to do one, two, three. This is Kariso. Who scored the two runners on bases last year when they won the championship in KwaZulu Natal? Aggressive in terms of his stand and yeah. his swing. And, and he does go for the ball. He's not the kind of player that looks at the pitch. Uh, he would attempt at almost anything that is within his yeah. reach. It is now two strikes two out one run scored runner safe at first base bottom of the fourth inning that draw ball is very quick and the catcher packs and patele needs to be very very is aware of those these guys played together in blue for i guess the pitcher and the catcher in the finals of the Masters, those they are at that age. The catch of uh, Limpopo trying to check whether the better made a swing. Or, or even, yeah. That's two out. Two strikes and a ball on the better. That's Didima, the first choice pitcher for Chapel or the experienced one for this game. They need the experience. And they still have Cariso uh, outside. We have just won the Hauten League with uh, Val University of Technology play with the same the same players. We are enjoying softball here in Polugwani and I am with the head of Masters here in South Africa who organize, they organize these games, Masters games for for us as Masters, inclusive of this region. In right now it's going well for Limpopo. Houting is chasing the game and hopefully 
and they get come back on, on the game and, and close the gap. You need to do that. They, they need to yeah. really work smart and hard and, and read the game. Uh, I think most of the betters from Gauteng are actually uh, giving too much respect to the pitcher from the pitcher. Popo. And, and you, you can't afford to do that. You no. need to go pound for pound and, and give your best. At this level, this is the highest softball uh, in the country. Defending. And you need to do your best. That's a hit. That's to Mandla. Expect a fly ball and out with Mandla and Lisiwa. Back then, you have one of the, some of the quickest and guys who can time the ball. They've been playing outfield uh, for all their lives. I haven't seen them playing anywhere except outfield. So the experience is the Amanda also plays for the SA uh, national yes. team. So well, that experience also a works A lot of well. experience out there. Uh, the weather is perfect. Um, the, 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 it's very cool out there. The players are really enjoying themselves. We're just getting a breeze now Yeah, that is um, going um, eastwards but uh, it won't affect the play it's not it's just a breeze it's not yeah. too much wind no and this is what players need to Leads. play in a cool um, weather to, so that they can get their best game um, and show the spectators the softball loving people because they're really enjoying the game here yeah. yeah. they've come out with, with in numbers, in numbers. and and the I mean, semi-final itself it's... and the final for ladies uh, it's something that others are still talking about it now and, and that is the so, uh, the game of softball that we want and to we'll, see. We'll keep on saying something and yeah. commentating and and saying maybe this should have happened. Yeah, because they 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 were. There's everything impressed. in that game. There was everything yeah. in everything the, in the game. Yeah. Let's see now leading uh, in the uh, Silo top five inning. I can count. Uh, Silo he has two strikeouts. So you need to be cool, 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 cool. Because he was at some stage one of the best nice second base men that we have in the Republic. I remember the Pretoria one, the qualifiers against Botswana. He was one of the top performers. He's a DP here now, yeah. meaning that he's supposed to show some aggression at bed and, and a good for eye that position to actually select yeah. the balls because all he has to do is bat, bat, yeah. bat and bat. He doesn't have to field and then does not need a lot of uh, energy and that. Now he needs to be extra focused. One strike and, and do two strikes what is one ball. On Sashabi that's Silo Molokwan facing the young lad, the uh, 24 year old Lucas Lamola. Third strike out. Then, Rabini, I can tell you now that some of these athletes that you see now in the NPC, you will not see them anymore in the uh, future uh, because of the decisions that have been taken to say. Um, at some age, we need to have a cut-off line so that we have a, the, the top of the cream Cubes athletes coming. playing at the NPC, and those that are older uh, pay, playing uh, the, their trade in the Masters, in the masters. Uh, so that we, we have enough depth, uh, competitive depth, uh, that will take um, our national teams um, uh, for, for 10 years, 12 years, because you need athletes at national. You need that. that you know, get into the system early so that they've got more caps, more experience yeah. to actually win the world championships. Yeah. And this is what other countries are doing. Are doing. We, we have started as uh, softball South Africa to say, let's have a plan, let's have a strategy to make sure that we have our elite athletes who are eligible to actually go and represent the country. Mm. You, lose, you lose one at the national, don't worry. But come the next year, talk of experience. They will be, they will be, they will be good, good, good. It's one out to Kekana Koki Kokezo. He played in the two under 19 and 18 championships. Uh, Koki, at his youngest age, he went to Michigan. And uh, two years later, he was in Prince Albert. 
And this so is where experience you, of international it's, is, there. is there. It's there. And this is where you'll appreciate teams like uh, Monetland, Texas, Texas, which keeps on producing one, two, three athletes uh, that are uh, at, at, at uh, the quality yeah, of playing for that we want. And also feeding the provincial team of Limpopo. Uh, they always have you know, a good production of uh, athletes that are good. Feed uh, both uh, province and national. That's a strike out. A strike out. We have now two out uh, in this inning. The Houghton pitcher doing well there. Yeah. To contain the. This attack. one is well, the one that is coming in. Maridi is the one who started the song for the points, and in the round robin. He had two home runs on Lucas. So they calculate their throws. He will be off to Kabeja for the senior baseball uh, championships. And he represented the country recently in Cape Verde for the baseball five. Really? So he's multi. I can tell you he's a very good volleyball player. You will not yeah. believe it. That means we have a multi talented athlete yeah. here. Uh, who is able to transcend through the different sporting courts yeah. and still do well. And, and, you, and you get experience playing one, two, three, how you become used to how things are done differently and that will improve and develop yourself when you go to the real court or your real sp uh, uh, sporting courts, you bring that into your game. Also, it helps with the emotional intelligence that an athlete yeah. needs to have in sport. Yeah. Uh, coping with pressure in sport, uh, being able to work with uh, multi uh, uh, teams because playing in a team sport, uh, you need to be at a certain level of emotional intelligence to carry yourself and carry the team. Yeah. Two uh, strike, two balls, two out, and no runner on base. That's uh, thus far, Kautini has done well in terms of containing the, the, the pressure that Limpopo was uh, uh, putting on. No run on base, two out, two strikes. Chances are they would lose this inning. And now they must come and pile because they are able to score runs. We saw that. And the other thing Propinia must share is that uh, when it comes to inning six and seven, this is where Houting have proved to be the most dangerous. Champions. They, 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 they come Innings. out and, and seal the game. Yeah. And if Limpopo are not aware, um, uh, careful. The experience they, is still they, there. They, they might lose it at the end. Lose it, six it, it has seven. happened before, as you have mentioned. It can happen. And it can happen again. Even in, in, in KZN when they won, it was during those innings. It was during those innings. I hope both teams they will have closing pitchers uh, or maybe change some tactics when they are in yeah, 6 and yeah. 7 to make sure that you know, the offensively and defensively uh, they, are, they, are, they are doing well. That one is going to be safe at third base. I can tell you that boy can run. And there should be no pass ball at, uh, at, at, at the catcher from now yes yes sylvester can run it's a very good base runner as you said the uh, sport that we are playing it needs that softball intelligence or that football then you read adjust then you you take action strike hold Let's see what Limpopo will do mm. now. They've got a runner at the scoring position. Mm. Uh, we've got two outs, so they need the better and the runner need to be safe um, to, to guarantee themselves this point. And um, I'm and fascinated by Mr. Uh, Mahapa. I'm fascinated by this young man. Because he doesn't go for any ball at the age of 16. Good eyesight. Yeah, so in terms of growth. of the ball. Yeah. And, and it's something that is a good quality of a better. Yeah. And this is a pressure game. This is a pressure, so they must pressure game to their pitching department. Because Manda is now coming to bat, who was difficult to take out throughout this game. Now very, very difficult. Houghton needs to 
look into their pitching tactics to say do they still need to continue to uh, with the same with feature, the same feature? Or tactically make a change i can tell you so, manda so will be given will four balls based on yes no that's what they've done yeah, yeah. with two out the their risk might pay it, though it needs a lot of tactics it need, it need a lot of thinking and that is where the conference is why that conference is now being called because if they score in this inning two or three runs it would be a mammoth task for team Houding. but i trust Houding have got a very strong side i see limpopo they might be bringing in a better um, that's to offload the, to offload the bases 18 year old uh, Itu Pupule coming in. Yes, 18 year old. Let's see. Uh, yeah, the team that uh, went to Uganda last year for the African qualified that phase to go to Mexico. He was one of the top batters in that uh, in that team. As we said, Prabeni, now is time for the coaches. Yeah, uh, to to trade their tactics. And now it is time for the pitcher and the catcher to think uh, which balls to throw. And these are experienced international pitcher and catcher. And an international at that age, 18, is also betting. The singing is from the from Limpopo and Houting and they are going straight at you. Two strikes, one ball. Now the better must really focus. Yeah. Have a good eye in terms of selection. Now you decide. Not to chase everything. Yeah. Because not everything is within the reach. No. You're right. Oh, strike out. Yeah. So they could not offload the that is the That is the killer ball. Good defense from Houting. Well yeah, done. Good, well done. Of Houting. Yeah. Uh, they are making sure that the... the, the defend the gains that they've made up to so far, up to so far. not to allow Limpopo to, to add get more runs. More runs. The game that was well done to, to coaches to walk Manda because all his terms, he was always safe. Exactly. And with exactly. a hit. So you put him there, then you look at who comes, then the statistics, then the stats comes in. How did this one play? Lisiba had two tens. A base and two not successful. I think Lisiba's game is finished now because he came. Uh, he was. Um, he came out. Somebody betted for him the other inning. Now um, again, he was substituted in terms of betting. I think it was Masingi who might have Masingi. Betted, betted for him. Yeah. Now it means his game is finished because he can't re-enter. It is a grand, grand final between. Team Houding and Team Limpopo for the crown of the best side in South Africa. Now we are going to the championship innings. And this is where now Limpopo must actually pay attention to the game and yeah. look at the tactics what Houding is going to do now. Because now Houding, uh, when it comes to this stage Ending of the game, five, six, they, are seven. they are closing five. Yeah, they tend to make a comeback that no one would actually stop them. Yeah, the floodgates might just be opened, opened from now on. And expect it at any time because they've done it today in this tournament. Yes, so it can also be done again. That's uh, Matazi bashing, Tsepo betting for Team Houding. And he's the one who also got a base and uh, a hit in the last uh, in where the uh, one run was was scored two strikes and a ball. So said says the umpire, Mr. Sipo Trobuga, a level five graded umpire, which is good in terms of umpiring. It is going, going, going. Caught. Caught just next caught. to the boundary line. 
Oh, what a catch. Yes, what a catch. Play so excited. What a catch. catch. That That's Sylvester. That's the boy that I said went through the baseball five. Uh, representing uh, South Africa, they came second. Good play by Limpopo. Good play. Good attempt by Khaute. Yeah, that was an attempt. To actually get the first better. The hit. Um, on base, unfortunately, the better was cut out. Yeah, you need to get hits. And uh, Bullion, I think also he was. Bullion has been the top bit of the batters, but now he's going going down in terms of his betting, his dropping. Yeah. I think all the them. pitchers are actually going at him, knowing how yeah. good good uh, better he is. Yeah, they do not want to make mistakes with him because he can really punish. Yeah. Mm -mm. Oh, oh, Let's see what Bully can do. A good better. It's hard to hit off the ball. Yeah. I think the pitchers are aware of his very capability aware. Very and aware. They are very careful around him. He can take you out of here. That's a swave ball. Not chasing that outside pitch because it's beyond his reach. Yeah. Quick and out. If you decide late, it is in the catcher's love. Again, they are trying to trick him to go for that outside pitch and he's not buying it. Yeah. That's the grand final between Team Gauteng and Team Limpopo here in Pulugwani at the Pulugwani, the home of the Impalas cricket, who are doing very well in their sections. Strike out. You could see when he moves, it's, 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 it's not the brilliant. He's not it's saying, not to, bully that he's saying to himself, I am, am I letting the team down? Or it's not top. It's not on top of his game. It's never over until the third lady until. sings. Uh, that is what you need to know when you play Gauteng. That until they are done with their betting opportunities, yeah. all you nine can, of you them, can, you can't write them nine off. of them, you can't. Yes, uh, Usa learned the hard way, and unfortunately, it's it's something that they would have to take home so that when they come back next year, they would know how to strategize and how to close a game against yeah, I can tell you, if those boys can keep that momentum, one of the good tournaments will see them in the finals. I think uh, um, USA have an opportunity because they are able to pull through uh, some of the uh, good quality players uh, into their That's team. A hit. Oh, good hit Six. by Thomas. Thomas. Who also is betting has, has, has dropped. Because these were the top, 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 top betters in Team, in team Houting. Now top of the betting comes in Christopher Ban. A graduate from the junior uh, uh, tournaments of, in SA. Strike hold by the umpire. Two out. Runner save on first base. And strike hold by the umpire. So one up, one down. Now we are happy. Everybody is is happy. The weather the is perfect the for weather, sport. The weather is for sport. An error. An error. It's second base. That is how they won. The 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 their game against us. How they came back in that game. I think the nerves must be high on the. Second baseman for Lupopo. Yeah, that's the second. The young man needs to um, come back to the game. Stay focused. It's two outs. They only need one out. But yeah. as we said, with Gauteng, uh, you can never write them off. The score was almost the same. It was 5-2 with two outs. 
and you have your two errors your cost brought in 12 runs and you have now your your, your top betting of Gauteng and you can't be making errors and getting people on base through errors yeah. when there's a top betting now Come. coming Pomolo and thereafter you have Tyler coming through also yeah. and, and this is where Limpopo must be uh, very careful tactically um, make decisions that they would know they would contain Gauteng but Gauteng also is an opportunity for them uh, to give the spectators the game that they've been watching yeah hoping for and uh, hoping to see and it, it might just happen now it might just happen we have an experience Pumulo betting against his former uh, club team provincial national uh, mate yeah that's a far ball the game we are watching is between the defending champion, Gauteng, and the dethroned champion, Lem Popo. Two of the strongest side for this tournament play in the, in the finals. Lem Popo have um, home ground advantage as the host, and they've got uh, many fans and supporters behind them. Now it is becoming tense for Limpopo and Gauteng, I can tell you. The run has been scored. Errors now have contributed to this run being yeah. scored. Uh, something that could have been avoided. Yeah. Now Gauteng are making a comeback. Score now, the margin has been close to three yeah. runs. And this uh, also another man. Uh, at second base, which is also a good scoring position, should good they go uh, to outfield? Outfield, he will rush to, he will go. It is now the, as you said, these are the, the, uh, the time and the innings where Houghton showed their worth in terms of the experience that they have. A very crucial time have. of the game. Yeah very very crucial and we are throwing it to one of the most disciplined uh, batters of the game 3-1 in terms of counts for Pumulo Paladi I think their strategy the catcher strategy of Limpopo is to contain Pumulo uh, he's here to be contained within the infield. As we know, anything that goes out, it means that uh, run out second base will actually go, 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 go. cross it home. Yeah. Ball four. As I said earlier, Brad, when the, both teams must now yeah. look into their depth of pitching. Yeah. Because at this uh, uh, point of the game, uh, anything can happen to the pitcher that started, so somebody should be able to relieve. Uh, yeah, when necessary. Yeah. Tactically, it works when you change a pitcher. And this thing happened during the USA Championship, but I could see there was the reason why it means USA had only that one. It was the one who came into relief also, brought in a lot of runs. So they need also to focus on the pitching department as USA. They would have done one that. That's why they took a lot of time to change uh, Lucas. I think one of the things that they should have done is to slow down the game. Unfortunately, the Tingle team of USA could not read that. That slow down the game when your players are under pressure. They are throwing low and hard. It's too out, but still Limpopo are feeling the pressure. Yeah. Uh, they, they can't go easy. Tyler is a good hitter of the ball. And you have um, Mansive at one and two, yeah. and you would not want to um, uh, let loose now. No, no, no. The, the floodgates must just might just happen. It just happen. And what we open. saw in the previous game repeat can, itself. can repeat itself. Yeah. But I think they are slowing the game down now to, That's to ensure the that the, they don't allow Houghton to yeah. dictate. We are watching a very, very tough and interesting encounter between Team Houghton 
and Tim Limpopo here in Polokwane Down. Those who have just woke up in another planet called uh, Earth, in another continent where it's in the morning, you are watching the finals, grand finals between Tim Gauding and Tim Lim, Limpopo, right in the Limpopo province. It's two strikes, two balls. I see that Tyler they, are, they, are, they, are, they are forcing him to go uh, at the balls, but they down, are mostly down, drop down. balls. They are drop balls. Even if he gets a hit on that ball, it will be contained to the infield. That's one of the national players, Tyler Croft. He sometimes at some stage, early age, he went uh, abroad for, for a, a try his luck in baseball. He's a baseballer. He went there for some months. And now it's a strikeout. It's good, good work not, done, good calling for himself. The... He's saying, I let the, uh, the team down. They scored, at least they scored the run. Because Limpopo has stopped, stopped going, uh, scoring unless they come up now. Top of the six. I think In both it. teams now, it's, they're, 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 it's crucial now. Uh, crucial. Their tactics must now come in. The coaches must really anticipate and, and try to uh, outsmart one another. Yeah. In terms of what now needs to happen. We have not seen many bands. We know sometimes uh, the bands uh, actually does frustrate the infield and the pitchers tend to be complacent when they think you're going to put the ball down. Yeah. So, so these are the things that the coaches must now come on board, motivate the team, uh, re-emphasize on the basics that they need to do, and, and especially the second base of, of Limpopo with that error. Yeah. Uh, they need to talk to him and re-emphasize that you know, the game is not finished. Uh, still, they still, still need to game. put in yeah. um, more and work. Errors, errors happen to can happen to anyone. It, it's part of the game, but yeah. one needs to make a comeback and make sure that they pull through. We see Chipape. Um, Gumori Limpopo. To re ready to to bet. You are watching the defending champion, which is Houten, against the dethroned champion last year, which is Team Limpopo, I wonder. No, the catcher is still putting his uh, regalia. I think we are seeing the best of the best of softball that we can uh, find in the country. Yeah. Um, as you said, when I was going about checking with some of the legends, uh, they were saying, um, when is the Masters coming back? <laughs> and, and I said to them, uh, they will come back uh, soon because I think this what they are seeing here today, it's something that they would want to always see. They want to be uh, part of the game. They want as many tournaments as possible, uh, which needs to come through. We have heard also from the MEC of Sports in Limpopo saying that uh, they love this. This is part of social cohesion, nation building. And, and softball does that, and it transcends uh, between race, religion, and so on. So, so, so this is a beautiful game that brings uh, everybody together. We are on top six, Limpopo betting score at 5-2. On bet number 11, Chipape of Limpopo. I see the Houghton pitcher is still going strong. Uh, both pitchers determined to contain the game, uh, defensively assisted uh, by their fielders, but containing that not all the batters should actually get ball on bat. Um, and they're doing well. Uh, the catchers are still doing nice calls to make sure that they contain uh, one another. Uh, Chipape being a national Simunye player, one of the good hitters of the ball. But we see here, uh, he's been contained. I'm joined now by Mapetro uh, uh, in the commentary box. 
um, the man who's been leading USA, the man who's been part of the game for quite some years. And, and these are the ones that um, we pride, um, uh, uh, we are proud of them to see them in the Masters uh, because we, we see that Masters now, it's also more competitive, uh, uh, but it can never come close to what we are seeing here today. <laughs> Uh, but it's you know it's more about recreation and fun with masters. Uh, but yet still we see players of the yesteryear enjoy the game. Oh. This is why we have um, uh, equipment uh, helmets now. If that helmet was not there, that could have been f very fatal. Yeah. And and it's you know this is good equipment. I think they need to check whether it's not correct. That ball is very hard, and it's traveling over. Yeah, I see they are checking the equipment now. Uh, it's very important. It, it might crack. Once it's cracked, it's no longer safe. Yeah. How to approach you, I think, is creating something there. They, they might think the better actually might have um, uh, put his um, head on the path of the ball. Uh, if it was going to be a strike, but we, we have seen it, the umpire made a good call. Yeah. It was not a strike, it was a ball that uh, was outside the strike zone when it hit it. And earlier I was saying, my to now at this level, uh, Limpopo should actually pile up some runs. Houting also, because they are comeback kids here, they are very good at hands, they are defending champs. You can't yes. write them off. No, you cannot. And <laughs> if they don't. Uh, pull up their socks, Limpopo, they might regret it by the seventh inning. Especially when uh, how things they want that they are closing. I think that one will be a true best thing. Those are some uh, heavy lads there. They could only get <laughs> uh, two two bases true. No, I think it's a two base rule. Oh. Yes. Okay. Coming to bed is uh, Pasha Matling, and I think uh, he hasn't been contacting the ball in this. In this yeah, game. he has not had a good run at bat, yeah. but let's see what happens. Usually, he likes going for the first try, <laughs> and I don't know if this time he will do that. He ran for the first pitch, and this time, ah, ah. where was this run? <laughs> I said there are some heavy lads there on field and when these kind of things happen, the coach at third base should be questioned. Stop, yeah. And they know that the center fielder um, uh, at eight, he's, a, he's got a good arm. He's a good throw, I and I don't know why they would actually risk it when there was no out actually. And yeah. they, they could have held that player at a, a scoring position at third. And... Um, and they, it would have worked for them, but now they've wasted one run. And they are playing against Houten, which are comeback kids, comeback lads, because they are defending champions. And they are very good with comeback. So now Limpopo needs to make sure that they score the runs. Uh, coming back to bat is uh, Didima. I think Limpopo, they went back to, to nine. Because uh, they were supposed to be Mulopan, which is a DP. So I think... Uh, that's important that they get back to playing with nine. In softball, you can always, always start with ten and revert to nine. It gives you an advantage in terms of the options that you have um, when you start with ten players. Yes. And your DP becomes available to bat and field for any other fielder, uh, player. And, and this is what uh, Limpopo opted. Now they've reverted to nine, as my Peter said. It's another tactic that they are trying to actually make sure that they use all their resources to score points. Two balls on better. While TD is a renowned pitcher at bed, I, I doubt he's got any <laughs> statistics that we might share at bed. <laughs> but this is a final, he doesn't need stats. He doesn't need stats. They just brought him, I think, just to make sure that he might score a run for them. Because as much as the game is so close, it, you need to pile up some runs. Change of pace. It always works with these big lads that when you change pace because they are used to fast pitch, they tend to 
frustrate their uh, swing and they can't really swing well uh, at the ball. But yeah. let's see what uh, Tidima will do. Good pitch by Houghton Pitcher. Uh, he's doing very well containing the batters, not conceding uh, many runs uh, or getting people on base. Uh, Tidima is out now. Uh, now the player coming through, uh, the catcher. William Patele. Well done to the pitcher containing, only conceding one run in this inning. Margin four, six uh, to Limpopo, two to Houting, um, a four game margin. Four game margin, and I think uh, the top bedding of Houting has passed, which to me, I don't, I don't see a, a top bedding, I just yes, a, a more balanced bedding in terms of Team Houting. I would agree with you. Um, there, there's one better that I, I've seen throughout the tournament, Bullion, yes. that all pitchers are not playing next to him. Yes. They, they, they tend to frustrate him because he was a very good hit of the ball. It's a hard but the uh, ball. They, they never gave him an opportunity. They always try to um, make him swing at balls uh, and give him balls that he's not comfortable with. Um, that, that is Bullion. But he's a very good hit of the ball good at field and, and this is uh, some of the guys that actually pull through for Team Gaudet and this is what Limpopo should be careful of. Um, as you said, my pet too, Team Gaudet it's balanced it's, uh, as far as bet is concerned. Yes. Um, even when you say this is the top bet, it will be by position in terms of top, but the all of them are good betters. They are good betters. And that is why they are, they, they, they are, they are the defending champs. Uh, because of that quality. Unfortunately, they are going against a very good um, experience uh, Titi Makekana pitcher of Limpopo who has managed to contain uh, them. But let's see what is happening now uh, at bottom six and seven because this is where it's crucial now and the floodgates uh, might just open. And with the uh, holding, I think uh, with the bench that they are having, we might uh, anticipate that uh, they might brought some, some batters from the uh, bench. Looking at the lineup here, we have Elia Lennox set on bench. We have Schulz Mike, we have JP Pinar. So they might brought uh, some better. We're at uh, bottom six. Yes. Like I said to you, Coach, uh, Mr. Mahapa, looking at now comes uh, Mike, Mike Schulz, who's coming from the bench. Yes. Yeah. This is the Houghton that we know. They have depth in terms of betting. First strike on the better. Perfect weather for soft ball. As we said, the wind is just a breeze. It's not something that can influence movement of the ball or maybe change direction or maybe have an impact on the fielders. Uh, it's a breeze which is cool and it's good for soft ball. Um, one ball, one strike on the better. Uh, that is Schultz, uh, Mike Schultz. Another foul strike. I think the two pitchers for Houghton and Mipopo have been yeah. doing well, uh, containing the batters because the two sides have very good batters, and, and they were able to contain them uh, yeah. up to so far. Up to so far, I'll say that, and and checking again that uh, if you check the Limpopo with the runs that they left on base, I think it could have been counted that the score was supposed to be around uh, 15 runs yes. that they were supposed to score. So it was a matter of saying you have to count the runners, uh, the batters that are coming in. Coming to bat now, I think it's uh, Erasmus. It's in there. Which is uh, better five. Let's see what he can do. This is not time to waste strikes. The 
Empire didn't like that one. To me, it seems to be up. The ball again. So two balls and a strike. And with a situation like this, uh, Mr. Mahapa, as a as a coach, as a pitcher, you don't wish that uh, the top baby must find you when they come back. Most definitely, you you, you don't want uh, players on base when your top baby is coming. You can't afford to even make errors. You can't. But afford. as you said, the two pitchers have been doing well, uh, containing the batters. Whether you strike them out or giving them a fielder's choice in terms of hit within the um, the infield. And, and it has really worked. The two pitchers have done an excellent job. And hopefully they have the strength to actually carry through uh, to the seventh inning and, and make sure that they could do the, co the containment because we have good batters of the game, of the ball game here in the two teams. Swing and a miss. I think that's the first strike, two down. Bottom six. Yes, but on the sixth And we we said earlier, these are the crucial times these are crucial. of the game. You have to, and and you, it's either you close it in terms of uh, Limpopo, or you you start opening up uh, some gaps when we are holding, uh, which you need to then have contact with the, uh, with the with the ball. But the strikeouts are not assisting holding. The strikeouts are not assisting holding because they still have to catch up with the with the score. Because the the, the, four, the four difference margin in the, in the, in the softball of this level, it's a lot of runs. Yes. Yeah. And it's one one. I think the fans are excited to see how they end the proper in the finals, even though uh, it almost did not happen. <laughs> um, because you'll always want the host to do well in a tournament. Yes. You also want a defending the champion, champion to defend, defend the, championship. the championship. So that is what the softball loving people want to see. Yes. Uh, so that they really understand what makes these two teams uh, to be very good. And uh, when your host gets to this point, uh, it's good for uh, softball also. But I think there's a bit of confusion with the runner. I don't know why he stopped running. Maybe he thought that it was a dead ball. To me, I thought and it was hit. This is where but now we said emotional intelligence. You can't lose focus. Can't Concentration lose focus must be stage. at its peak. We know some athletes are tired. They've had to play a lot of games during the week. Uh, but now, at the end, you can't really um, lose focus and, and lose concentration. Yeah, I think and, it was something. We've seen that it happened to one player in counting. We're supposed um, to run all right until they run it out, you. and, and yes. that puts pressure on the field on actually the field, yes. to collect a slow moving ball because you can actually go there and not pick it up, and it's, it, it might be like a hot cold. But um, big ups to Gauteng uh, and Limpopo for play, displaying wonderful softball, and we hope the young ones, which are also here in numbers, yes. they are learning something because the softball at this level. It's not only about the championship winning the championship, but it's also about giving hope to the young ones that they can also do it. Can We've seen in Limpopo they've got young ones uh, in their team, and and it motivates the rest of the provinces, yes. uh, the, uh, the rest of the teams that are here, and those that are not even part of the teams, but which are spectators, they would really love to be part of this championship uh, come the next year and the outer years. Yes, because looking forward, we are seeing uh, maybe uh, in the two years to come, we, we are me and we can see the most of the players that are playing this game they won't be part of our npc due to the age restriction that is coming most definitely uh i don't know whether that is going to create more competition at masters <laughs> because now some of these lads are very good uh, no. but it, it's not about that it is about uh, some boss south africa saying we needed the npc the athletes which are going to represent the country yes. athletes which are still in good shape they still have uh, aspirations to have more experience because at this level you are gaining experience to actually which we hope it will filter through when they go to international events okay no, thank you mr mahaba uh, better hit by a pitch that's uh, investor marady that's better 
8, which he connects the Limpopo uh, bedding. I am now back. Thank you very much, uh, the chairperson of Masters. I went out to try and check one of two legends. Just wanted to share their experience. And they are telling me that the, this game is so tense that I can't move, they can't move out of their chairs. That is what they are telling me. That's how interesting and how interesting this game is and the two teams are displaying. I think uh, Team Limpopo make the change. Okay. Apan is coming in for Kekana. To bet. Rip to meet. Oh, death. To bet back again. This boy has grown. Never mind the fielding errors. You, 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 you grow by but making those errors. You grow by yes. At the age of 16, I will tell you, at the university side, this is one of the investments that you are looking for. That's, that's what they tell him to do, and he did just that. Yes. I can hear yeah, that could be nasty. And I think from, from his age, he was playing NPZ, age of 16, 17. Yeah. So the coming two years, he'll be a more, more of a senior player. Yeah. That could be nasty. Yes. Because remember the, 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 the shoes that they are were putting on and got cleats. And the cleats got him. And that's one player he, can, he cannot afford to lose to lose it not, at, not, at this yeah. point because he's been doing well in the in the outfield there. Yeah. We just have to man up and finish, and even finish the base, game. Even his base running is is a nice timer of the ball and the errors. It's back in the game. I think it's one down. The runner at first got tacked, so it's out. It's out. Yes, so it's one down. With the base. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you die with the base, <laughs> right? <in. laughs> Otherwise, they will, yeah, they will take you out. That is when you have a base, you are, you are having a, an argument. Yeah. Yes. Manda got walked. It is now happening for the second time. Yes, I think with this baiting power, yeah, it was more of an optional to do that. Yes. Yeah. And, and, thi and this one, this one is going to connect, unless if something happens. Oh. So, <laughs> Sylvester is going to go. He felt and got tight. Yeah. Mm. The cold was supposed to stop in that fight. Yeah. Because that was a good band. Yeah. Yes. They would have been safe all bases. Yeah. It was just enough. Yeah, yeah. and stay that you are having See, one, yes. one down, and you're having uh, your, your, your two lethal betters that are coming. Yeah. Because now it's two down. Many things can happen. Top of the seventh. They've got two on bases. That one is going to go home because it's two bases. They could have scored two runs yeah. in this frame. They could have scored yes. two. But one thing I know about uh, Coach Sogol is, is a risk taker in terms of base running. Sogol needs risk takers. Yeah. Most of the time, I was speaking to the one of these legends of the coaching team, uh, Mr. Homo, the director. Was he will tell you coming more out. Possibility this of game, them yeah. working more out that they, they have yeah. done so. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Intentional work. Because you can't afford to to, to pitch to Morao at, at, at this, this time. time. No. Yes, especially with, with when I two out. Two down. 
We rather load the bases and go to the, the nearest one. Pasha has got three strikeouts in this game. And he's got a hit in, in his previous ten at bat. Is it? Yes. He's yeah, got, when I was he's got, out he's got two team. runs for Limpopo in his previous ten at bat. Wow. Yes. Strike hold by the umpire. Yes. Is that a and this change? is where you need experience. You need experience. Like this. Just yeah. You score run per ten. Yeah. Push your, your, your teammates. So now Bashar will now be able to throw. Now they are going to throw a rice ball. Rice ball or change up. Or a change up. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because of the two turns that are, I saw. They are at the top. Yeah. You can't afford Bashar to hit you well. You don't even have a ball at, yeah. at this point. He went for the. That's a fly. Yeah, yes. That ball was very, very. Up. The tens that they was put out that I saw. Yeah. The last strike that they pitched was a rice ball, and he went for it. Very good. So they are, they are very much consistent with. Yeah. Uh, their routine of pitching. Yeah. The routine for the for for Pasha Matling, Mulugwani, Silom, Patlele, Puli is the same. It's the same. Yes. Third strike. Up. When they heard two strikes on them, the third strike. Who's up? So now, uh, now, bottoms. Now they, how they need to score five runs in this inning? Five runs. Five plus. runs to draw, or six runs for a win. And that is what they did in the last, in the last okay. inning. Yes. They managed to put runs in pay and score. Yeah. And they are going to need that strength. And they've need. got the capability to do that. We saw them doing it in this tournament. And uh, now we it is needed. Let's see who comes to bed. It looks like Better seven. a bash bashing is coming in. Yes. And I think even the, the, him in his last uh, ten at bat, he managed to get to, to the base. Yeah. The same ball, same uh, error at the same player. I yeah. thought, I thought the I'm not the coach, but I can tell you, the two errors in the previous inning for the young boy. It's got two runs of yes. Yes. Should have said that maybe the game is now becoming big for him. At his him. age, he's yes. heavy, and he saw the last game. He was supposed to be uh, relieved. Relieved uh, at yeah. this point. Yeah, yeah. But that's how they saw it. And even with with our pitcher, because now they are facing for the seventh time. Yeah. Yes, and maybe even a change. Of a pitcher, who do also do, but I saw that uh, Tarusa Pan is, is inside the field, okay. He didn't just bet and go out, so okay. He's inside, so they, they can't that, change. that option can still it is, work. It is still there, yes. We are watching a very nice and interesting game between the two strong sides south of the ball game here in South Africa. Team. Limpopo and Tim uh, Howdy. Let's see what Brandon strike out. One out. Now the game is getting tougher and tougher for uh, Howdy. The gentleman, the man, the player who started the the wedding against yeah. Usa. Yes. Is this one who is betting? Thompson William. He started the 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 feast of runs. runs. Yeah. And now they need him most. Otherwise, it will be a retainment from the team in blue. Now and also now you read 
You need those things, the risk takers. You need the risk takers. Yeah. As a better, you have to be disciplined. As a pitcher, you have to know where you locate your pitches. Yeah. Yes. Again. The ball takes it. You yeah. bounce when it bounces. Yeah. Yes. Goes up. These are championships in it, and this is where Gauteng is very dangerous. Yes. And remember, they are betting now, they are betting last. They are betting last. If they score five runs now, uh, six runs, now it will be a ball, ball game. game. And that is what they want. It is needed. Runner on third base, Christopher Ban betting. Top of the betting coming to bet. You still have. Uh, Pumolo and uh, Tyler. Two balls, one out. Runner save on first and third. And third. Then now someone is wishing for a double play. Yeah. Someone is wishing for two runs scored. Yeah. Three balls and a better. Three balls and nothing strikes. Anciously, Houding outside in terms of spectators, they won runs. They won runs. Lempobo, they won an out. They won an out. We want to see not, the not, sport of softball. Not they just an out, they won the double play because Pomula is coming also. Yes. Yes. Though he hasn't batted them that much, but he has been working him. Ah, that's a hit and an error by the shortstop. That's how, that's how they came back with Usa. Yes. Two crucial issue, uh, 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 errors, second base and the pitcher. One, another run scored. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, Pumolo is going to go try and go big to reduce the margin, to take it out of the, out of the infield. <laughs> so if he takes out of the infield, it will be 5-5-2. Five, five, and this, what happened in the game against Usa is likely to repeat itself. Unless Limpopo conjure something new or something. They have to do something. Yeah. That's where you need coaches and t uh, tactical awareness in terms of closing, closing the game. Because they need to close it. They need to close it. Yeah, because and as, as long Kauteng as is capable so far, of scoring, Kauteng they just put the, the ball inside the field yeah. and dead on field. Yeah. Yes. Was the one that has just passed you were expected to be an out? Now they gave him four. Now you are telling the next better that comes in to take it out. Yes. You must. You must swing for home run. And he did in the same in the in the same situation. So that the, the score can be tied. Hey. And he did he did this, the same uh, 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 thing happened. Tyler coming to bat. Also one of the decorated uh, players of the ball game. He doesn't like low balls. No. He doesn't like low because he's, an, he's a right-hander betting at left. Okay. Yes. I've always seen him betting from the, from the left. Ah! That's a save. save. That's a yeah. save. It's a save. Yeah, that's a good call. It is now happening for the second time. You see? Yeah, no. You yeah. take, take the whole ball, not, not the legs. Yeah. Mm. And now the, 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 I can tell you, the same attitude that Houten did against Usa is now coming in. Because now they know we must draw the game or win the game in this frame. Yes. The two teams are giving us good softball. The pitcher was, just sub was supposed to be just to put the glove down. Yeah. Yes.
with one out, one strike, and there should be one ball, and two runners on bases. This is where you need uh, your experience coaches to to be counted, to stand up and be counted. It is now three ones. Base is loaded. Base is loaded. The one who comes in should take it out of the infield, which is uh, King Damon. And during the Usa game, he took it out? Out. Yes. So yeah, even, even now in his turn, if he can take it out, it's, it's a ball game. game. Yeah. And uh, the fact that he's also a designated player, it's, it's for that. The game is tight, tight, tight and interesting. A great comeback. Now we are looking at it for Team Gauteng. Yes. A great, great comeback for Team Gauteng. Are we, are we seeing the repeat of the USA uh, game? Or something Didima and uh, Pax Mpatele? Uh, can do. Here they are forced to take one out and the one who is betting. The Empire doesn't like it. And otherwise it will be out of here. Yes. And that will be the comeback of Team Hauti. Same pitch. Same. A ball court. That's then means the umpire is consistent. Yes. Bottom of the seventh. Houting hitting last. And they are going again. Same thing happened. Run scored. One by one, Houting has is making a recovery. Yes. A comeback. Now they need two runs to tie the score, three runs to win, and it has happened today in another game against involving Houti. And it's one by one. That's the head coach for Team Houti. They were Manaka. Uh, they were Managa, who used to be in purpose, one of the shortstop for team bases are now loaded. From where I'm seated, there should be something from the beach, and that this should have happened not now. No, if they want to change the and, picture, and when the frame was starting, yes, yes, it should have happened that time because the, the margin. Look at Kariso from from where he is, unless he's injured, he would have he would have uh, not given because we are talking of for three base on balls, yes, and two errors. If the score yeah, there's a pitching change. Kariso coming in to close. The inning, and uh, let's see who comes in. Erasmus, Erasmus, Sander, Sander coming in and wait Kariso because it's one out. Let's see what. Uh, Apani will do. And we also need a, a, a double play. We need a double play in this situation. In this situation, yes. Yeah. 
otherwise Houten will have came up in this tournament with two uh, wins where they were uh, out from the because we are beating last and then you have a score of 7-2 yes and then you score and then against Usa the same the score was 5-2 ended at 15-13-2 uh, they didn't have uh, 5 That is the good of softball for those who are watching it and for those who are favoring their teams. That's the bad yes. of the ball game. <laughs> that's what for you. Howden wants to defend. They came here with the spirit of defending the title. The same thing. That's what it's attack this one. The catcher went over, over yeah. the plate yeah. to, tag. to stop him from sliding. Yes, because the previous one tagged the, yeah. the runner on the chest. So this yeah. one he went to the to the legs. When you look at it, you look at it like it's a rough play, but in yeah. softball we are allowed to slide. To slide, yes. yes. Mm. So <laughs> someone who has never watched the game says the other one is and intelligently is, is also intelligently also. Uh, to come in as a catcher, yes. you need to protect the plate. You need to protect. Yeah, the for plate. the runners to play. There was a guy called Steve at some stage for how he, Yeah. Fun standard. He knows how to protect the plate. That one. The yeah. big guy. The, the big, big guy. guy. Yeah. That was one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, hit off see. the ball with a crash band. Yeah. Yeah. You see this? This uh, what the two guys did. Yeah. It is what Kamohelo Makulu Makwe should have done with against the Usa and Hamke. Because it was two down, you have the ball yeah. and the runner is coming. Both of you will slide to the first base. And the game is sealed. Now it's two out. Two strikes, one ball. And Kariso Apani. On the mound, and I wonder what is going through his head. Yeah, it's a ball game. If the boy did it against Botswana yes. in Makurere, he was then called today to do it for his brothers. I can tell you, I think it's we more. have never seen this type of performance by Houting for a long time. I can tell you, we yeah. have never seen from Houting. As a team. Even if when they won the championship, yes. they did not play as they did no. in this tournament. And I think uh, Kawiso Kami has is, been a good closer of the game because he yeah. knows where he to close, locate yeah. the, the, the ball. And with the with experienced catch of William Pache, he, sure. he was just laying down so that he yeah. shouldn't go out, out of the field. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, uh, Thank you very much, listeners. Now we have a big sound coming out of the arena. Limpopo is celebrating. Well done, Sobo South Africa. Well done, legends and coaches that came here to grace our occasion. This is the best of softball in South Africa that we can offer. And uh, from me and uh, Coach Fotias Dau, Coach Teboho Mapetu, we say thank you. Thank you, thank you. Job well done. Job well done, and thank you to also the viewers on the Facebook page. Okay. Viewers on the Facebook page. We've got legions who are watching the game, who are communicating with us. Dino, we saw your your comments. Your uh, guys from Free State, all the way from Sukukuni, people who are watching. And they were sending us their comments on Facebook, comments on WhatsApp. We really appreciate that and thank you for watching the game. Thank you to Softball South Africa. Let's wait for the next tournament in the <laughs> Northwest. Thank you very much, uh, viewers back home. It was a great game that we've watched together. Until we meet next time. <laughs>